Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. This is a very quick update for those who already have City Builder 3D add-on. Now, this beautiful set of tools that you would like to work with now has a couple of updates for anyone who would like to get it. So the folks at Light Architect have actually gone ahead to add a brand new set of three procedural buildings that you can now work with. And if you've already purchased the full pack, you'll be able to have access to this. And with this said, we're going to go directly into Blender and take a look at what this actually looks like. So with Blender simply open, what you can do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install it. And once you install this, the next thing you do is press N on the keyboard and you notice that we have the City Builder right here. Now the City Builder 3D, the procedural assets comes with three major types of models or three major types of building assets that you can work with, which includes the favela, Hong Kong, and also the brick complex so to get started once you click and open up the favela you can see what we have here so the procedural favela is pretty cool this is highly based off the geometry node that is currently available in blender and you can start doing some very interesting things with it so for example let's say we simply make a copy move this over to this part go over to where we have our properties and now you can increase the length depending on what you want to do you can increase the width and you can also increase the height so this is very very nice and for those who like to make multiple copies of course you can so we can also go ahead and make another copy and let's say we'll move this other copy to this part and this is just for the favela so we can go in and probably say we want to reduce the width let's take a look at what we have here so we could say we would like to reduce the width as well and maybe we can reduce the length simply you know crank this one in and make a couple of randomizations and get some very cool result now this is not going to be complete if we don't have a simple floor so let's go ahead and add a plane Let's scale this plane all the way up and see what we can get. And with that, we would also select this one, move it over to this point and add some more cool stuff. Now, the next one which we're going to take a look at is the Hong Kong. And by simply clicking and adding the Hong Kong, you can see we have some very nice stuff. Let's move this over to this part and then let's make another copy and move this one right here. And exactly the same things that you can do with the favela is also the kind of things that you can do with the Hong Kong. And you can simply position this however you choose so in this case if you also like to play with heights you can of course do that and if you're also thinking about playing with how random you would like the assets that is always placed on top of this to be you can also go in and make those changes now something i would love to see is a situation where we'll be able to have place based off the 3d cursor as right now once you simply place anything for example for placing the procedural brick complex it goes ahead to place it within the origin point I would like to see a situation where we can have this being placed wherever the 3D cursor is, just like we have with the other packs that comes with City Builder. That is one of the cool things I would like to see. So once you have this ready, you can now go ahead and hit the render button to get some very cool rendering out of this. And we've already talked about the fact that high quality textures comes with City Builder. And for anyone who would like to get some procedural generated tools right now that they can use to populate their scene and also create some very impressive and cool looking models, you can now have access to these things and start creating lovely stuff with it. So let's also go ahead and move this right over to a point like that. Crank this one all the way up. Let's go ahead and make another copy. Let's say we we'll move this copy inwards and then I'm just going to go ahead and bring this one down. Or maybe we can go in here and add an extra zero. All right, that looks good. So we can add an extra zero right there. Then maybe add another extra zero right here. And we have some very cool stuff happening for us. So this is very, very nice. It's uh, pretty cool. The folks at Light Architect also, they've uh, promised that this is going to continually update. So if you are thinking about getting a close up, you can check out this close up. And you can, of course, choose to render these things with cycles and also get some very, very cool results out of them. So this is more like it. For those who would like to go ahead and check this thing out, probably you're thinking about getting this tool. Maybe you're thinking about getting some procedural assets that you can now use directly in Blender. You can as well go over to the folks at Light Architect and grab it. Now, if you're grabbing just the procedural pack, there is going to be a continuous update coming over to the procedural tools. But then if you're thinking about getting the full pack, which contains both the Derelict, the Metropolitan, the Cyberpunk future, you would be able to get this right now as a full version. And all of the subsequent updates are also going to come over to you. And it's also very interesting to see that they do have a discount code right now. For those who would like to get this at 25% off, you can simply use the coupon code CGI and get this tool for 25% off. 
And this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at the Hong Kong, the Derelict, the Cyberpunk future, Medieval, and so on and so forth, or probably you're thinking about getting their value added pack, then link to this is also going to be in the description so you can do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. This is a very quick update for those who own City Builder 3D and for those who have no idea what this tool is and are thinking about getting an asset add-on that would be able to generate cool buildings for them. This one is for you. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.